What is up, my fellow dice rollers? My God, you ever have one of those days? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Just now, I uh, literally just did this video. Uh, so if that's you watching in Twitch, I apologize. The last time I did this, microphone wasn't on. So uh, I feel a little, uh, eh, I'm not embarrassed, but still, uh, Hey, at least I had a, uh, you watched the dry rehearsal. You just didn't hear anything that I was saying. Uh, anyway, I am proud to announce my very first uh, module. I haven't programmed anything in, oh gosh, about 27 years. So um, it's been a very, very long time. I know you're thinking, how can you, uh, how can you say that? You're not even, you're not even 27 years old. Yeah, right. Uh, Anyway, no, I, uh, I programmed my very first module. It's called Foundry Stream Module, and it's relatively simple. What it does is it takes uh, Twitch and integrates it with Foundry itself. Um, so essentially, um, it will take our Foundry chat and it will send it to the Twitch uh, chat window and it'll take our uh, Twitch chat and also send it right into uh, the Foundry client itself for all of your players. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. So, uh, right now, as it is, uh, the module is not currently listed uh, in the Foundry module search. Uh, however, I hope to get that cleared up relatively quickly. So, who knows, by the time you're watching this, chances are, are pretty good. But it may not be for, you know, a couple of days yet. So, um, I know things sometimes take a little while to get up and rolling there. Uh, let's see. So, let's get our other stuff queued up and ready to go. Um, to find the module itself, all you need to do is switch screens. So search on Google and just search for tabletops and anvils, all one word, uh, foundry stream module, and that will bring it up. I'll also put the link in the description on our YouTube version of this. And I guess I could, I might be able to put it on the highlights for Twitch as well, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. I'm just glad the microphone's actually working. So uh, anyway, once you go to the Foundry Stream Module GitHub page, uh, the file that you're really concerned about is this right here. It's module.json. So click on the module.json and right here at the top of, we're not concerned about any of this stuff right here, uh, but at the very top, you'll see raw. And so you want to click right here, if you see where the, the mouse is, I think that's showing up on the screen. Yep. So click raw, and what it does is it gives us this raw version of our module.json file. And again, we're not concerned about what's in it so much as this. Right up top here in your address bar is a link to the raw version. And so you just want to copy this and uh, then we're going to go back to we're going to go back to our main foundry window. Uh, as a matter of fact, I already have it installed, but let's drop out here to our setup just so I can show you. Um, we're going to go back to setup, and we have game worlds, game systems, add-on modules is where we want to go. And down here at the bottom, you'll see install module and uh, I don't know if you can hear my dog in the background there. She's uh, she's yelling at me. I put her in her crate for doing this because, well, quite frankly, anytime I'm talking, she wants to be on camera. So, uh, and it's not that I don't like her being on camera. It's just she wants to be on camera on my lap. And, uh, you know, she's a border collie, kind of a big dog. Anyway, down here at the bottom, when you see that pop up here, we have install module and you see manifest URL, and that's where we would want to go ahead and paste that raw information right there. Uh, now, obviously, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed, 
But we're going to go back then to our world, launch that. So we'll give that just a moment there. <laughs> All right, looks like it's just about loaded. So uh, I see we've got some uh, some new viewers. Uh, for those of you watching along in the Twitch chat, you'll notice that it just said FS Mod connected. Uh, that's telling me that everything is actually working. Uh, my module is all configured. Um, but what you want to do, just in case you don't know much about Foundry or you're just new to it, let's go ahead and go down to Manage Modules, and you'll see Foundry Stream Module, and just check that, save your settings, and then we want to go into our Configure Settings. Uh, Configure settings will give you a couple of options across the top here. We have core settings, system settings, and module settings. And you just want to scroll down here uh, until you see... Oh, let me just get that out of there. Not that anyone really cares about my OAuth token. Uh, so here we go, our configuration. Foundry Stream module has a couple of different uh, configuration options. One of them being your Twitch channel, which is obviously the name of your Twitch channel. Uh, oftentimes it's the exact same as your username. Now, I am not using the same username. Twitch has an option that if you are, uh, you have to go into your security settings, but you can actually enable uh, setting up a second account with the same email address. Uh, really nice if you want to do something like this and keep it separate, or if you want to set up a bot, which essentially I've just kind of made Foundry probably one of the largest Twitch bots out there. Uh, anyway, um, so that name goes in here, uh, and there's some description underneath it. Uh, below that is Twitch OAuth token. This is not your password. Um, let me just switch here to our other screen, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so if you go to uh, twitchapps.com backslash TMI, uh, you'll be presented with a page like this. As long as you're logged into Twitch in another tab, just hit connect, follow the prompts, and it will generate your OAuth token for you. Uh, and so that is what we need to go ahead and post or paste right into here. Our next option is moderation access level. Uh, by default, it's set at four. Uh, Foundry has four different levels. We have one, two, three, and four. One being player, two being trusted. Uh, three is assistant GM and four is the GM themselves. Uh, now, I happen to have mine set at level two and that's because our game that goes on tomorrow night I am actually a uh, player for that. I'm not the GM, and uh, our GM really doesn't know much about you know the module that I wrote and how to actually do it. Plus, let's think about it this way. Uh, GMs have a lot going on. They've got to take care of all the dice rolls. They've got to worry about the storyline. They've got to worry about players bitching and complaining about things, uh, you know, uh, looking up things in different rule books. So if you can go ahead and take that and, and move that away from them. Let me just move my window over here. I realize I'm talking behind a screen. Uh, but if you can move that away from, you know, something that they have to pay attention to and give it to uh, one of your other players, I think that's a, I think that's a good thing. Um, and just get a little bit of help. So that's what moderation access level does. Then below that, there's two little check boxes. You can turn on uh, sending to Twitch. Uh, which will take everything that's done in Foundry, uh, essentially all of our all of our rolls and spells, uh, you know, attacks, checks, and of course, chat messages will go right into the Twitch channel chat. Um, and now you can turn that on and off uh, depending on how you want to use it. And there is also the last box is received from Twitch. And that will take all of the chats said in your live stream on Twitch, and it will forward them right into Foundry itself. Uh, now, there's a couple of different ways uh, that 
we can deal with that. If you have a really large stream, uh, unfortunately, it, it may get a little cluttered. However, uh, I found another module uh, that is absolutely awesome, and I can't recommend it any more uh, than what I already do, and that is right here. You'll notice that our chat is not the same. Obviously, I've got a theme going on, but my, my chat, I'm using what's known as the tabbed chat log. And what's really cool about that is we have our in-character. Uh, so this is everything that if you're clicked on a token and you're chatting away down here, it comes up as in-character. All of our attack rolls will come in here. Let's uh, let's do an attack with uh, Dacian. Oh, he rolled an 18. That's a, that's a crit. Awesome. He hit for 27, critical confirmed at 25. Beautiful, 46 points of damage. I only wish that this was in tomorrow night's game uh, when I will probably go back to rolling like crap. But uh, you'll notice that doesn't appear in our in character. It actually appears over here in roles. And for those of you following along on Twitch, you'll notice that it also spat out all the raw data there for uh, for our dice roll. And I believe it's actually getting sent over to our YouTube channel as well. I did not check that. Uh, I have to, uh, just because, well, I'll do that later. Um, but I have a restream bot going on and it doesn't appear here in our out of character because it just went to Twitch. It didn't come back from Twitch. But our out of character, like I said, anytime that somebody chats uh, in here, uh, we'll do a hello from Twitch and uh, hit that. There we go. And boom, you see it just pops right up there. And uh, obviously I have this set up so we've got all the uh, communication channels open. So if you come over here, uh, that should be up now. And I say, hello, Twitch. And FS Mod goes ahead and posts from Gatekeeper, hello, Twitch. So just to, to give you an idea as to what that's doing. Um, but again, I really, really enjoy this module uh, called Tab Chat Log. Uh, not to pitch someone else's module while I'm pitching my own, uh, but it seriously, it really helps keep everything organized. Uh, so let's move along. Let's talk about um, our configuration options. Over here, you will notice uh, we have, I'm logged in with a GM account, uh, even though I gave myself access to my, my player uh, access to this as well, which is why I was set at moderation level two. Um, but here we go, our normal GM buttons, and all the way down here at the very bottom is our FSM controls, or Twitch moderation. And we've got five buttons when we click on that. Uh, our very first one here is uh, to slow the rate. Uh, what slow the rate does is uh, Say you've got somebody that's typing a lot of things very fast consecutively. Well, you can actually slow that down. You can control the amount of time in between someone's messages. So if they if they're on Twitch and they you know say something, you could set it so that uh, well, here let's just put it as a 10 second slowdown. Um, <clears throat> so I just type in 10, hit slow. And if you're following along there on Twitch, you'll notice that slow mode was enabled. Uh, now, Finlay. <laughs> anyway, my dog, she's... Uh, I should just let her out, but it'll happen in just a few minutes. Oh, look, it actually pops out. I've not actually done that before. Let's pop that back in. Uh, anyway, so... You'll notice over here, I've got a small stop button, uh, much like you find on a Blu-ray player. I almost said VCR, but wow, that would just date me. 
Uh, so if you hit that that stop button, boom, uh, looking over at the chat window, I can see that slow mode is off. Uh, one of the other features, our, our next feature down, let me, uh, let me go back to my split window again. Um, transition back there uh, just to show that off. So our next button down here is our clear button. Uh, if we hit this, uh, what's going to happen is the entire Twitch log gets cleared. Um, so just kind of kind of nice to keep everything organized. Uh, we'll go back to our full window. Next button down is our viewer timeout. This is basically telling someone to go sit in the corner. Um, now there's a bunch of different options. You can read about how to how to use them, but you could set it for seconds, minutes, hours, days, and even weeks. All you have to do is type in the person's name uh, and the amount of time that you uh, want to put them on timeout. If you just type in their name and don't put a time behind it uh, and hit timeout, it's going to default for 10 minutes because that's Twitch's default. Um, and again, we also have this stop button. All you have to do is type in the person's name. You don't have to put any numbers after it. Just type in their name, hit the stop button, and that will go ahead and remove them from timeout if they've been good. Uh, next, our giant middle finger of doom is ban viewer from channel. Pretty much the exact same thing, except you don't have to put any numbers after it. Just type in the person, the offending uh, username, type it in, hit ban. Now, if they've groveled enough and uh, promised to behave and you need to remove that ban, you can also type in their name and hit this stop button right here and that will unban them. And lastly is our raid channel button. Uh, and raids are really cool because it allows you to go ahead and send all of your viewers into uh, someone else who is live streaming at the moment. Um, so here, all you have to do is type in the channel name and click raid. Uh, now it does help if you're logged in as yourself. I haven't actually tried this. Uh, if, if your username and, you know, channel are, are the same, I think I'm going to have to check it out, but I think it may actually automatically forward, um, or automatically confirm your raid, but it takes something like uh, either 60, 80, or 90 seconds, I'm not sure. If you're using a separate username to moderate everything, like for instance, Tabletops and Anvils is just a really long name uh, for us to be you know, forwarding all this text uh, you know, into Twitch with, uh, so I shortened it down to FS Mod because that's the name, Foundry Stream Mod, uh, you know, so it's a, just a little bit shorter. You may want to figure something out, you know, like that as well. But if you're logged in using a second account, make sure that your primary account is uh, logged into the window. You're going to be exiting Foundry anyway, but you will need to confirm that dialogue uh, or confirm the raid, I think, within uh, 60 seconds or something like that to go ahead and send everyone over. Uh, so that is pretty much it. Uh, wow, I've kept it just under 20 minutes this time. That uh, means I've moved six minutes faster than my last video, uh, which was about 20 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so that is the features or all the features, how to configure, how to install uh, Foundry Stream Mod. I really hope that uh, somebody out there enjoys it or more than somebody you know uh i think it's going to be really handy for those of you who like me also like to stream your games uh allows for a different level of interaction we've got plenty of things planned for the future uh we'll see what's actually possible but thanks again guys i appreciate you taking a look at uh this video and considering uh putting foundry stream mod into your foundry setup uh otherwise we're playing tomorrow night at 9 p.m. If you want to join us, uh, the more the merrier. And now that we have this, uh, it's 
going to be our Twitch stream on a whole different, more interactive level, which is going to be cool. And with the Restream app, uh, we're also going live on DLive and YouTube, and all of our chats will get combined. So it's more than just streaming in Twitch or you know, sharing our, our chat in Twitch. It should take it to everywhere. Uh, anyway, thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, hopefully this was informative and, uh, I don't know. We'll see you soon, I guess. All right. Take care, people.